Halogenation is the addition of chlorine or bromine across an alkene pi bond. The reaction begins with the addition of a single halogen atom across the two carbons of the alkene pi bond to form an intermediate known as the halonium ion. Three mechanistic arrows describe this addition. In the first arrow, the pi bond attacks one of the two halogen atoms. This results in the displacement of the other halogen as a halide. Finally, the halogen being added to the substrate simultaneously attacks the carbon of the alkene that would otherwise lose a bond. And this results in the formation of the halonium ion as a result of the new red and purple carbon to halogen bonds. Notice that the halogen has a formal positive charge in this cyclic intermediate. The halide that was previously displaced then attacks one of the two carbons of the halonium ion, opening the three-membered ring. The product is a vicinal or neighboring dihalide and the reaction takes place in an inert solvent such as dichloromethane. It's important to notice that during the attack of the halide, which opened the halonium ion, the halide's attack must occur opposite the halogen leaving group. That makes this an anti-addition. In this specific example, a symmetrical alkene reactant is used. However, even when the alkene is unsymmetrical, regiochemistry is not an issue in this reaction because the same halide is added to each alkene carbon. The reaction begins with the attack of the pi bond on one of the two bromines, and that results in the displacement of bromide from Br2. Simultaneously, the bromine atom that is being added to the substrate attacks the carbon of the alkene that would otherwise have lost a bond. This results in the formation of the cyclic bromonium ion, which is then attacked by bromide so as to open this bromonium ion, yielding the vicinal dibromide product. Notice that in this reaction, no stereocenters were formed. Consequently, wedges and dashes need not necessarily be used when drawing the product. In other words, this representation of the product is the same as this representation of the product. Since two carbons of the reactant are involved in this transformation, it is possible that zero, one, or two stereocenters can be formed during the reaction. Let's first consider an example in which a single stereocenter is formed during the halogenation. This reaction begins with the attack of the alkene pi bond on one of the two chlorine atoms. The other is displaced as chloride and simultaneously the chlorine being added to the substrate attacks the alkene carbon that would otherwise have lost a bond. This results in the formation of a cyclic chloronium ion. The chlorine that has been added to the substrate could be added from above or from below. And each of these two enantiomeric chloronium ions will then be attacked by chloride. Chloride is drawn to the center that bears a greater partial positive charge, and that is the more highly substituted center. So in each instance, chloride attacks the tertiary carbon of the chloronium ion, and as it attacks, it attacks opposite the chlorine leaving group. This provides two enantiomeric vicinal dichlorides. However, only one of the two new tetrahedral centers is a stereocenter. And this is emphasized by drawing only that center with wedges and dashes. 
In this next example, two stereocenters will be formed during the halogenation. The reaction begins similarly, with the attack of the alkene pi bond on one of the two bromine atoms, thereby displacing the other as bromide. The bromine that is being added to the substrate simultaneously attacks the alkene carbon that would otherwise have lost a bond and this results in the formation of the cyclic bromonium ion. Notice that again the bromine could be added from above or from below the alkene substrate, resulting in two enantiomeric bromonium ions. Each of these bromonium ions will then be attacked by bromide at the center bearing the greater partial positive charge and that is the more highly substituted tertiary center. This displaces bromine as a leaving group as the bromonium ion is opened. Here it's important to remember that the attack of bromide occurs opposite the leaving group. As a result we see the anti-stereochemistry of this halogenation. The two bromines that have been added across the alkene pi bond reside on opposite faces or opposite sides of the ring. The previous reaction yielded the products as a pair of anti-enantiomers. While it is always important to be on the lookout for internal symmetry, it is especially important to do so in reactions where two of the same group are added across an alkene pi bond. For instance, in this example, we will also form two stereocenters. In the first step, the cyclic chloronium ion is formed. And that chloronium ion can be opened up by the attack of chloride resulting in the anti-addition of two chlorines across the alkene pi bond. However, this product happens to be a meso product, and so both enantiomeric chloronium ions converge on the same single reaction product. This meso compound has no enantiomer. The internal symmetry of that meso product is difficult to see in the conformation in which it was originally drawn. It's much more easy to see that internal symmetry if we rotate around the central carbon-carbon bond. That produces a conformation where the internal plane of symmetry is readily apparent. Since we can now see that this molecule possesses an internal plane of symmetry, we know that it is identical to its mirror image. And if we take that mirror image and again rotate around the central carbon-carbon bond, we will produce a different conformation of the molecule. Notice that this conformation may initially have appeared to be the enantiomer of the reaction product. However, we can now see that because all of these structures are identical to one another, there is, in actuality, only a single reaction product. In summary, halogenation adds chlorine or bromine across the pi bond of an alkene. The stereochemistry of the addition is anti, and there is no carbocation intermediate, so no rearrangement is possible. The preceding has been an excerpt from the book Introductory Organic Reaction Mechanisms, A Color-Coded Approach to Arrow Pushing. If you found this video to be helpful, you may be interested in the complete book, which is available in ebook format from Scribd, in paperback from Amazon, or in paperback at a discounted price from Lulu.